Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to another edition of the Photoshop for Video podcast. This week, we're going to take a look at a technique to quickly stylize photos. And this works really well if you want to stylize them for dropping them into a show open, or maybe simplify them down a bit to use them as a background texture for a bumper or a graphic. Let's see how. I've got a picture open, and it's bigger than I need, so let me just go ahead and se select All and choose Copy. And then I'll make a new video size document. Film and video. And let's drop this into a 720p project. And I'll click OK and paste it. Now there's a little bit more here than we need, but that works pretty well. I like that composition there. And what I want to do is take advantage of layer styles. Now, most people think of layer styles as being something only for text or logos, and they work well for that. But you can also use them on photos to quickly stylize the image. Here's how. Make sure you've got your Styles palette visible. So if you don't see it, go ahead and choose Window Styles. And I'll pull these over here. Now, within here, you have lots of styles. And if you click, you'll see that there's actually a category called Photographic Effects. I'll go ahead and load that and replace all the other ones in here. There we go. And these are designed so you can quickly stylize the image. Now, in order for these to work, they have to be applied to an actual layer. So if your background layer is locked and says background, double click and name the file first. It has to be a floating layer that you could turn the visibility off and on for. Then it's just a matter of clicking and applying. And you'll see that there's all sorts of looks that can be quickly used. Like this sepia tone one is very versatile. We have a screen luminosity, which just quickly knocks the image down and screens it back. A nice blue tint here for a duotone, or a blue tone with some shadows that leaves some of the color in. And you see lots of options here for quickly applying things, even textures. Now, I like these a lot, and I've gone ahead and actually made some of my own, and you'll find those files posted on the Photoshop for Video website. So if you like these styles that you're about to see, visit photoshopforvideo.com, and you'll be able to download them from the blog post for this week's episode. Let's go ahead and click Load here, and I'm going to go ahead and load some additional styles. Now, a style file is simply indicated by the .asl for Adobe Style Library, and you can click Load. When you do this, it'll add the styles into your set. And again, these are very fast, so I can click and quickly get a different look without a lot of extra work. So we can do nice tints and washes to our images without having to work very hard. I like this one here, which has sort of aged it back a little bit. Aged the photo, making it look older, but not making it too dominant. And you have others in here you could play with that have a texture to it, like a haze or a little bit of a gentle aging. Once you've got what you like there, then you could even take advantage of actions. So in the Actions palette, for example, I'll go to the Image Effects, And I'll actually take advantage of the additional here, doing a little bit of some softening. So let's go ahead and try a soft edge glow and click play. And there you go. It's been a nice simplification of the image. Now, this works great. We can go ahead and close this down. And there's be a nice background here for text. So if you needed to use this as a bumper within a show, you could drop in the title for a segment here, such as There we go. Let's go ahead and left justify that. Pump up the point size just a bit. And tweak our leading. There we go. And you see that by simplifying the photo, reducing some of the color in it, we were able to quickly create a more recessed background. Let's go ahead and stylize that out just a little bit, a little bit of a stroke on the text. I'll go ahead and sample the color from the scene itself. That works out well. Put on just a little bit of a drop shadow. Pull that shadow down. There we go. And soften it a little bit. There we go. And click OK. So the major advantage there is that that photo style lets you quickly stylize the image with just a click. Here is the original photo. And here is the new one, which competes significantly less 
with making that an image that stands out. So, by taking advantage of photo styles, you can often reduce the complexity in an image, making it work as a backdrop for text, maybe a DVD menu, a show bumper, etc. And photo styles are a great tool for your arsenal. Remember, there's a few photographic effects built right into Photoshop, and I'll post the other ones I showed you today over at photoshopforvideo.com. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. My name's Rich Harrington. Be sure to stay tuned. We're going to have some special news in our next week's episode that you're not going to want to miss. And of course, take a look at photoshopforvideo.com. Thanks again.